Hello my friends! Today I want to draw and have some fun with colored pencils and I want to talk about my current pencil set. I've had this for quite a couple of years. I'm really not sure when I purchased this but it is the Creative Mark Cezanne colored pencil set. I have used these colored pencils for quite a while and I love them. Spoiler alert. I'm going to talk a little bit about why I do love them. Going back thinking about this video, I remembered I purchased these and I was sure that these weren't like super expensive colored pencils, but I was expecting them to be a lot more expensive than what I actually paid for them. I don't specialize in colored pencil drawings and so I don't do like big photorealistic drawings with colored pencils and I don't know everything about them. I've had my share of the nicer brand colored pencils and I want to talk about my two cents on these pencils. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. I put out new videos every single week and I'd love to have you here. The color range for this set is so good. I enjoy it. It's pretty much perfect for what I need. These are very soft pencils. They break very easily in a sharpener if you're not careful, but I feel like Colored pencils often do that, you just have to be pretty gentle with them because of their formulation. I think these feel so nice, they feel luxe. One of the things that is not nice about these pencils is the colors are not named, so you kind of have to remember which color you used or have them in a specific order. In terms of consistency for drawings that you want to create, maybe it's not the best because they don't have color names. However, I like to pull out my colored pencils once in a while when I just want to experiment, when I just want to take a break from the other kind of art that I'm doing because it's similar enough to graphite drawing that I feel comfortable and I don't feel like I need a huge warm up. When I do these colored pencil drawings, I don't have a color palette in mind. I just kind of pick what feels right in the moment. There was no rhyme or reason to the way that I was using these pencils. I was just experimenting. And there's several parts of this drawing that I think were failures and several parts that I really like and I think were successes. The way that I defined the features was really nice and the general shape of the hair I loved. But the part that I didn't love was how I shaded the jaw. I should never have pulled that blue-green pencil for the cheekbone. That was the first mistake and I was trying to fix it from there. And at the end of the day, I just went in with like a dark purple to cover it all up to have it have some dramatic lighting. It was too harsh for the nature of this drawing, so if I could change one thing, it would be to completely erase the jawline and give it some contours and some more subtle shading. I have to say, when I use these pencils, I feel a lot of freedom, which is not something I always experience and I think is special. Because this set is pretty inexpensive, I don't feel precious with it, I don't mind if I'm breaking the lead or if I'm using up a pencil. Being able to use and abuse your art supplies is a great way to be more consistent with your art creation because you don't have to worry about the hump of a warm-up or using your nice supplies and creating something that you don't enjoy. Even if the drawing is quote-unquote a failure, you're not using nice high-quality expensive supplies. I recommend this set. I wonder if you have any recommendations on colored pencil sets or just in general cheap art supplies that perform to you like luxe or high quality supplies. I'm definitely snobby. I, in all areas of my life, love a good savings and good quality. So I'm not going to buy something that's cheap because it's cheap and has bad quality, but I'm always looking for really nice luxe feeling stuff on a discount. When alcohol markers were branching out from just being Copics, they were all bullet tip. And I was not about that. I don't think bullet nib markers are very good. It's, to me, very difficult to have soft shading with them. But now, if you go on Amazon, there are so many sets of alcohol markers with flexible brush tips. Learning that alcohol inks don't have any kind of light fastness, I am so much more tempted to buy a big set of markers to experiment with because the price is right for the quality. I wonder how you think about this. I have very specific guidelines for what I consider to be worth the money and what I don't, and it's very much personal based on my own drawing style and what I need and how much I'll use a specific supply. I want to know if you have like a hidden gem like I have these pencils that you rave about because it's spectacular for its price. One thing that I enjoy about these pencils is I feel like I have the ability to erase them a little bit, especially specific colors. They're not erasable pencils, so it's not going to be perfect, but it's so nice to be able to get the bulk or majority of the color out of the paper to be able to saturate it again with a different color. I feel that when you push really hard with Prismacolor pencils, they 
crumble on the paper, while these, they don't crumble, but they leave that shiny indent in the paper, which is a negative for a lot of artists. If you're looking for a fun set of colored pencils to play around with and experiment with, I definitely recommend this set. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'm going to be reading through all of the comments to see if you have any specific amazing art supplies. Hopefully I can get them in the US if you're in a different country. I'm excited to know what you recommend and what you love. I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Thank you.